I love Dark Souls. I mean, who doesn't love Dark Souls at this point? It was given the award for the ultimate game of all time for a reason, right? Right? I missed. Well, I also love the Nintendo 64 era of games, especially the style of those games. I love the jagged, low-poly, liminal feel to all of those games on that blockier system. Yes, a lot of it is just nostalgia, but in general, I think it takes a lot of talent to imitate this style with modern technology. And I'm really happy to see more indie games go for the Nintendo 64 era graphic style. Well, what happens when you take these two things that I love and combine them? You get Knight's Try, or as I like to call it, Dark Souls 64. I'm 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 very original because it, it is really hard. <laughs> it took me 151 attempts to finish the game. One of the absolute worst parts of Souls games are the boss runs. It's actually something they addressed in Elden Ring with the stakes of Marika that would just put you right outside of the boss arena after dying. Well, imagine that one boss run from Demon Souls to the blind fella in the stormy place. I, I genuinely hate that run. Imagine that, but as an entire game. And this is the boss fight at the end. Well, that was fucking dreadful. Now, <laughs> this sounds horrible, right? I've done a complete 180 on describing this game. And well, despite the immense amount of torment I went through, despite the pain I suffered, despite all of that, I actually liked my time playing through Knight's Try. The game is tough, like I said earlier, it took me over 151 attempts to get through the game, but there wasn't a single moment during those 151 deaths where I felt tired or fed up with the game. Sure I was frustrated during the whole thing, but after every death I always wanted to respawn back in and conquer the challenge I've been bashing my head against for the past 20 minutes. I streamed the entire thing by the way, just, just look at my stream VODs on the channel if you want to witness my horrific pain pain with no interruptions. Fine! No, that's fine! No, no, that, that is completely fine for the platform to just suddenly change, change direction, direction as soon as, as I jump. jump. That is completely fine. None of the challenges I faced in Knight's Try felt boring. Around every checkpoint, there was always some sort of new surprise. Like it can go from your basic standard platforming challenge, to being bombarded by cannon fire while doing so, to timing your movement behind cover because you're being attacked by some dickhead with a Gatling gun. Oh, and falling down into the Proxidus green zone, and then being chased by skeletons in a catacombs! The whole time the game is taunting you by tallying the amount of how how many times you've failed and constantly showing you. It's honestly really cruel. Also, there's a timer. It took me two hours to beat it. Two hours. God damn. I really like Knight's Try, and I'm honestly surprised I haven't heard anyone talking about it. It's a pretty short game, which is why this isn't exactly a long video, but I wanted to shine a light on it and hopefully get some of you to try it out. Actually, yeah, I challenge you all. I challenge you all to beat the game with less than 151 tries. If you manage to do so, send me a picture in my Discord server and I'll give you a special rank in the server, I guess, of... Uh, Knight's Try Champion. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna name the rank. Anyway, I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. The little knight deserves a rest at this point. Okay, it's been three seconds. Time to get back to the torment and try and beat my own score.